Shout out to FBA News for tagging me in this story right here. Now, if you want to see Palm Color Privilege in full effect, well, you can look at most of my channel and see that. But this one right here definitely is up there. And I never heard of this story until someone sent this to me today. And it is March 19, 2021, where you have this guy whose name is Kane Madden. He's out of Louisville, Kentucky, and he looks filthy. I mean, as fuck in this picture. Um, Basically, he was accused of raping this eight year old in which he actually did it. But now it says that he's going to have his case dismissed and he won't stand trial due to him, quote unquote, not being competent to stand trial. And I think his competency hearing was back in January of last year, if, if my dates are correct, based on something I saw on the Internet when I was looking up his picture. Palm colored privilege in full effect. Meanwhile, Deshaun Watson has all these random allegations and accusations and lawsuits just popping up out of the woodwork coming after this man. And we're supposed to just believe it. Meanwhile, you actually have evidence of what this guy actually did and he gets to walk. I keep telling you, the judges ain't shit. A community's worst fear was realized Thursday. And by the way, this article was posted March 11th, 2021. A community's worst fear was realized Thursday when a Jefferson Circuit Court judge determined that Kane Madden is mentally incompetent to stand trial. Madden is accused of raping and assaulting an eight-year-old girl, fracturing her skull with a shovel in an August 2019 attack in Louisville's California neighborhood. Look at that. They say he raped her, fractured her skull with a shovel. And you thought he wasn't competent enough to stand trial? This guy literally is about to be back on the street. Jefferson Circuit Court Judge Annie O'Connell. Me too. I need y'all to address this. I know you're not. Because you have a white male who literally committed a rape against a child, almost killed the child, probably caused brain damage more than likely, and a white judge let him walk. Determined that Madden is also unlikely to regain competency in the foreseeable future. By law, given the finding of incompetency, his charges will eventually be dismissed. So that means they probably can't even try him again for the same thing. O'Connell says she would issue a written ruling soon. Now, as they fear all along, some who live in the neighborhood where the incident happened and elsewhere worry Madden could also fall through a gap in the system and avoid mental health treatment, too, because of a problematic state law. <coughs> Excuse me. WDRB News has exposed repeatedly since 2019. Oh, this guy's getting the cakewalk for sure. Last month, a psychiatrist at the Kentucky Correctional Psychiatric Center in LaGrange testified that Madden is mentally competent to stand trial. So he was determined to stand trial. He had competency to stand trial, but the judge is the one who deemed him incompetent. Dr. Timothy Allen argued that Madden, who's been repeatedly institutionalized and hospitalized through most of his life, has learned to manipulate the system. And much of his bizarre behavior documented by ev evaluators was just to draw a reaction from his caretakers. Allen said Madden has a sufficient IQ, has shown some understanding of the case against him and could participate in his own defense if he chose to. However, Dr. Allen Josephson, a witness for the defense, who has previously testified that Madden is not competent, said in February that it would be virtually impossible for Madden to work with his defense attorney and understand that what was happening during a trial. Josephson said Madden still can't name the defense attorney Steve Harris he's worked with since 2019. I smell bullshit all over this Matt and josephson testified has profound mental issues like severe social incompetence intermittent explosive disorder brief psychotic disorder learning disorder and ptsd like symptoms from being abused as a child then he maybe he should not be out with society they should have kept kept his ass locked up in some kind of psychiatric facility he described Matten's decision-making skills and impulse controls as unpredictable as a game of pin the tail on the donkey. This disorder is lifelong, he said. The case against Matten, who has a record of mental illness, has repeatedly been found incompetent to stand trial after past felony arrest, has gained statewide attention as it revealed a problem with Kentucky law. While Matten has had several cases dismissed due to incompetency, he also hasn't met Kentucky's criteria for involuntary hospitalization, meaning he has repeatedly walked free, dodging both prison, time, and mental health treatment. 
WDRB News highlighted the law's shortcomings after Madden was arrested in 2019. O'Connell is one of the judges who has ruled Madden incompetent in the past and before her decision in the child rape case Thursday did so most recently in February 2019 in a sexual assault case where Madden was accused of biting a woman's face. So it's the same judge. The same judges over this. They, they should not have put her back on the bench. They should have switched them out, but they gave him the same judge. Did you hear that? It said that he was accused of biting a woman's face. And this was in the same year that he raped this eight-year-old girl and hit her over the head with a shovel. In the same year. After he was released in February 2019, Madden was arrested again in May for breaking into a business, but a judge dismissed that case because of the same comp competency concerns and recommended Madden to be his hospitalized instead. And again, he was quickly released, starting a cycle anew. Less than 24 hours later, Madden was accused in the rape and assault of an eight-year-old girl who was playing outside a home on Hale Avenue near Dixie Highway. Now, given the new incompetency finding, some worry the cycle could continue if Madden yet again doesn't qualify to be involuntary hospitalized for mental health treatment. He has a revolving door when he goes to court, said Yolanda Walker with the California Neighborhood Leadership Council. Whatever he does next, I just feel like the judge has blood on her hands. However, Tom Wine, the Commonwealth's attorney for Jefferson County, says blame shouldn't be directed at any particular judge, but the state law that allows the cycle to continue. I want to be clear, we do not fault any judge that believes based upon the evidence before them that an individual is not competent to stand trial. Wine said Thursday, there needs to be a change in the process that will not allow those individuals who are not competent to stand trial, but who are still a danger to the community and a danger to themselves. For there to be some additional form of treatment or some additional form of custody where they are taken out of society, generally speaking, and hospitalized. However, current state law stipulates defendants with mental health issues who are found incompetent to stand trial can only be involuntary hospitalized for treatment if they meet three criteria. The person must be deemed a danger to himself or others. The person is expected to benefit from treatment and hospitalization is the least restrictive treatment available. Both in 2020 and 2021, two senators filed a bill to remedy the gap in the state law, but lawmakers in Frankfurt have yet to give the legislation much attention or a hearing. However, one of the sponsors, Senator Morgan McGarvey, of Louisville says he hopes that will change in the final six days of the legislation session. Wine hopes so too. I would encourage every individual that says yes we need to change the process to contact their legislators whether it's in the House or in the Senate. Despite the problem, problematic law and previous shortcomings, Assistant Commonwealth Attorney Chris Foster will still petition the court to have Matt inv involuntarily hospitalized. A confidential hearing on that petition will be held next week. This is some bullshit. So it just sounds like they just have more holes than Swiss cheese in their entire legal system in the state of Kentucky. But who, I mean, uh, not in Kentucky. They said this is in, well, it is Louisville, Kentucky. I don't know why it says California. Maybe that's, it's a lo little small town. I don't know. But uh, it's crazy because in Maryland, we have actually have a place called California in the state of Maryland. Go figure. But this is wild. Like this guy has repeated offenses over and over again. And he's gotten a slap on the wrist and a walk on the red carpet on out of the courtroom every single time he's never served any jail time and he did all of this in the name of mental health and they're about to probably let him walk again and you know what's so crazy if someone wanted to do some vigilante style justice guess who would get jail time the person who shot or did whatever to take his ass up out of here but palm colored they're allowed to have all kinds of mental health issues and I mean every type of mental health issue that you can think of. That's that's crazy. That's wild. I know the people of that community are pissed to the highest level of pissed off ivity. I know I just made that up, but y'all know what I mean. But look at him. Like, look at him. This guy looks dirty. He looks filthy. And he gets sympathy. He gets sympathy over all of the victims he's terrorized because basically that's what he is. In my opinion, he's a terrorist. He has terrorized multiple people and not one of them got justice at all, but they treated him like a victim. And he had palm colored out here trying to tell black people don't be a victim all your life. Meanwhile, what is this guy acting like right now? Oh, if you have sympathy for him because he's asthma. Shut up. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this ridiculous story. Not the story of what he did, but the outcome of it is just ridiculous. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure that you text the number that is pinned down below to receive notifications every time I upload a new video or go live.